Hi Leo, welcome to my channel. Today we are doing your monthly love reading for the month of August and let's see. So what's happening with Leo? What is looking good? What is not looking so good? What is going away from you? What is coming towards you? What needs to go? What needs to stay? Okay. And Leo's a very happy birthday. Enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful solar new year. Okay, this is the last. Let's see what we have for my Leo's. Message from the universe. Ooh. Oh my God. Look at you. you know, a lot of people got justice in this position. Lot of people. Okay. Okay. Leo, just look at your cards. Okay. Just look at them. They are so beautiful. Okay. What universe or spirits are telling you is that, hold on, Leo. If you have been single for long or if you were in a relationship, hold on. There is a new beginning coming your way. A passionate new beginning which will be stable. Okay. There is stability coming. So if you are dating somebody, you'll find stability. Maybe you will get proposed because this is like my marriage card, okay? So you might get proposed or you could be proposing somebody, but there is definitely a new beginning, okay? So be positive this month. Now, what I see, uh, your relationship so far has been, uh, you know, you craving that happiness, that 10 of cups moment. You wanting that happy family, happy wife, happy life kind of happiness, and somewhere um, the offers that were coming towards you were not good enough. You felt discontent somewhere. You know, you always dreamt of that happy family or that ultimate happiness. Okay, that was missing with the Four of Cups here. I feel that was missing. Okay, but uh, what you got to do in uh, you know what what you're supposed to learn from this is Leo. Maybe this wasn't happening because you were holding on too tight to your thoughts. Or maybe you were holding on too tight to your uh, comfort zone, you know, or your thoughts or, or your pentacles also could be money for some of you. Maybe you were not opening up. Okay, so sometimes if you want this happy because it's a four of cups, followed by your four of pentacles. So you were not happy and you were discontent because somewhere I feel even you held on to your thoughts. Even you didn't open up, okay? So you need to open up. And at the same time, you need to charge forward, okay, with the knight of roads. Bring some passion because relationship, it takes two for the relationship. No relationship can happen only from the effort of your partner. You have to put in some effort. So you have to put in the passion. Okay? And you need to stop being so stuck in the mind that things have to be my way. No. Sometimes you need to let go of those thoughts. You need to focus on those thoughts. And you need to sometimes bring passion in relationship. Okay? What is coming, you know, and what you can do to resolve your issues if you're having any issues if you're single and or if you're married and you're facing some issues in your uh, love life what you can do to resolve it firstly leo be the queen of cups try to understand the other person's uh point of view the other person's emotions more 
try to listen to the other person's, pay attention to the other person's emotions because uh, it is not always about you. Maybe they have some genuine problems. Maybe they have some issues. Maybe something that they cannot open up to you because you they, they kind of scare of you or, you know, they, they kind of feel that you will not understand it or, uh, you know, so try to be more empathetic with the Queen of Cups. Uh, have some more empathy in, in your life. And secondly, um, there's justice. So bring balance wherever you can. Uh, bring balance in the relationship, okay? So it should be equal give and take. So if you have been the one who has been giving, so don't worry, uh, then, then karma will pay its price and you will get what you have invested. But if they are the ones who have done things for you, maybe this time you can open up a bit and start doing things for themselves. That will, uh, you know, resolve the situation to a bit. That will uh, make the relationship easy, a bit more easy. Because I see more or less um, there is somebody in your life who kind of feels for you or is dedicated to you. Or if you are single, then there is somebody coming towards you. What is coming towards you? This month, look at this, two of pentacles with the two of roads, choices. You have choices this month, okay? Where do you want to focus? So is it this person, new person you want to go towards? Or is this the existing relationship you want to head back to? Is it your work that you have to balance? Or, or you have to now focus on love more? So it is about choices and balance again. Two of pentacles, here there is Libra. Here there is, uh, you know, balance, which is again a Taurian energy. So this is about bringing balance in your life, Leo. Okay, a lot of fire energy, a lot of cups energy. So you could be dealing with a water sign or uh, air energy too. Mm, you could be dealing because Libra is here in its major arcana. Aquarius is here in its major arcana. So this could mean mm, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or a fellow air sign like you, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Rather, everybody's here, even Earth is here. But it's not about the element. I feel it's more about emotions. If you have been looking at passion, you're getting the passion back in your life. But there are certain things that even you held back, okay? I feel you held back your thoughts, you held back your passion. You held your passion from that person. Somehow, you know, kind of, and they... they kind of felt punished for it. So try to understand the other persons, be more empathetic, okay? And try to bring balance because what is coming towards you is also that. Two of pentacles, two of rods. You have options. If you want, you can go back to them. If they are somebody you have left in the past, you can go back to them. If you want, you can, uh, you know, balance them along with your career. I know you some for some Leos, I mean, career is important. Your recognition is important, but they can be a part which can be easily balanced with uh, this aspect, okay? And what you can do to improve uh, the relationship if you are in a relationship which is already has become a bit discordial or kind of disconnected or, you know, uh, there is a detachment or uh, you want to improve relationship with somebody from your past or uh, in your current relationship. Firstly, the star is here. So have hope. Don't, don't feel, don't give up hope, okay? And the world is here. I mean, how more beautiful can it get? You have the world card. Forget it. Forget all the old things that happened between you two. First thing you need to do is let go of the past. Forget the past, okay? And have hope. Have hope. Things will, you know, only focus on that person or only focus on that relationship. Things will improve. But you need to let go of the past, okay? All right, so what do we have more? Let me pull out from the other deck and see what else does Leo need to know. Any more messages for Leo? The thief card has been coming a lot. Okay. All right, look at you, Leo, look at you. 
Okay. So, Leo, universe is telling you there is something, a passionate new beginning for you. There could be stability for you, but also at the same time, be yourself. Be true to yourself. First, be yourself. Don't have any false pretenses, okay? Don't try to steal something that is not yours. Don't try to show something that you're not, okay? Be your true self. Because if you can do that, what is going to happen is, uh, as I see in your current situation, yeah, you have, you've been focusing on money for some Leos. You've been craving for happiness, maybe happiness at home or happiness with your partner or happiness with somebody. But there, but I see there is some, you know, income uh, possible. Maybe you, you had to travel for income for work or maybe they had to travel for work or there has been some distance, maybe financial distance between both of you. So what lesson learned should be there is, you know, First of all, you need to go towards them. Knight of Rhodes. This is a fast-moving energy which comes towards people with passion. And look at what you got here, journey. So you need to move towards this person with passion, okay? You need to stop, let go of these thoughts. Stop, so stuck up. Well, like the Four of Pentacles. Like if you are holding your pentacles or holding your money with your feet, with your hand, how will you move? What will you use to move? How will you move places? So that's the reason you're not able to move. Because you're not able to go towards that person. You're so busy in your work. As I see for some Leos, it could have been a job opportunity, maybe outside your city, outside your country. And you're there. You're not coming back. Okay? So now Spirit is telling you, Taro is telling you, it's time for journey. Pack your bags, take a vacation, come towards them, okay? Come towards the person that you left behind. Now, what you got to do, again, see this, change. Change yourself, change your location, come, go towards them. Bring balance, maybe they are the ones. Try to understand their psyche. Be empathetic, okay, Leo? Sometimes it does happen that, uh, you know, you... Uh, Sometimes we, we do get busy with our work and uh, there are other priorities. It's Everything is fine, but somewhere, uh, you know, even after having, if love is a, if relationship is also a priority, right? So if you want the relationship to grow, how can it grow from a distance, okay? Sometimes you need to go near it and nurture it. So that's why the Libra scales are here to balance it. So bring balance to the relationship, okay? Be empathetic. If needed, travel. Change your location maybe. Look for a promotion. Come the back to the city. Or let call them to your town or wherever you are. But definitely some travel, okay? Some change. And what you can expect in your this month, again, as I see, choices, okay? Two of Pentacles with the Two of Rose. You have choices. You can do that. And there is community. Connecting with your community. Maybe you can actually, if you want, uh, if you're a single Leo, then you can look for somebody. You will find somebody in your community. If you are already in a relationship, maybe it's time you, uh, you can introduce your community to the person you love. Or you can, um, you know, gradually introduce the people your family, your cousins, to this person that you love. Maybe let them feel important in your life. Give them that space, okay? What you can do to save the relationship, as I said, keep hoping. And, you know, things have ended. I mean, forget all the past. Be matured. The matured man is here. So be matured. Or if you want, go for a counselor. Marriage counseling, relationship counseling for some of you. But for the others, I feel be more matured, okay? No, long, no more mind games. No more, uh, you know, being stuck up with your thoughts and thinking that person is going to compromise because it takes two for a relationship, Leo. I think things can work out. Things I, I don't see any separation. I don't see any walking away. I don't see anything like that. Um, all I see is maybe you are 
you know, distant from somebody and now you need to bridge that gap and you will have all the opportunities this month. If you can bridge the gap, there is a brand new opening waiting for you. So will you take that leap? Again, free will. So I'm going to pull up one Oracle card and see what's there for you, my Leos. What is there as an advice for my Leos? Temperance, balance, again. Somebody else also, another fire sign got it, if I'm not mistaken. But, uh, yeah, you need to bring balance, okay? Leo, you are the one who can get balance. Be like the Sagittarius. Be balanced. Try to understand. Work is important. Money is important. Paying attention to finance is important. Your image is important. All that, those are important. I'm not saying they're not. But at the same time, emotions are important too. And if they aren't, then you shouldn't be in a relationship. And if you are, then there should be some kind of commitment in that. Okay? So, all right, Leo, this is all I have for your overall love for the month of August. If you resonate, it's, uh, you know, it's fine. If you do not resonate, come back to this video in the middle or the, by the end of the month. That way you will know whether the things are played out the way it, it is as in the reading. Uh, then you'll know the story is for you. If you don't, uh, then please check your moon or rising or Venus or Jupiter because sometimes those planets or their placements also make a lot of difference, okay? It's not that always we will resonate with our sun sign, all right? So, okay, Leo, have fun, have a wonderful birthday, and I'll see you again with your weekly love readings, okay? Bye.